Okay guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a 3 inch barrel that will fit on a gun that's ready to accept any barrel that has threading on it. We're going to go from a 1.5 inch threaded adapter today to this 3 inch barrel. And I'm going to show you the process on how to build this. If you're going to paint any of your parts on any potato gun, it's very important to do this first before the actual assembly of the gun. If you're going to paint any parts that are threaded, you want to make sure that you wrap your threads with tape so you don't get any paint on them. And of course, if you're going to do any customization, make sure that you tape it immediately and you apply paint immediately before assembly. Once you've got all your parts painted, you want to dry fit all the parts together to make sure that you have essentially all the parts that you're going to need to build the piece or the gun that you are currently working on or making. For this build, it's this is what you're going to require for a three inch barrel. We're going from an acceptor that's one and a half to three inches. So first you're going to need a one and a half threaded piece, male adapter. This is going to screw into your chamber. Now from that to go to your, what's supposed to be a reducer, but we're actually using it to increase, you're going to need a coupler, a male coupler. But a male coupler doesn't exist, so don't go to your hardware store and ask for this. Your coupler is actually a piece of pipe, the pipe that you're using to join the two together normally. Now, the best way to measure this if you're going from an adapter to another adapter, the best way to measure how to cut this is it's the average size of a male's two fingers from here to here. So as you can see, this is about the size of both of my fingers put together. And also what you're going to need is the reducer. You're going from 3 inch to a 1 and a half. Of course, we're going from 1 and a half to 3 inch. When you're applying ABS cement, I'd always recommend putting gloves on. Not because it's bad for your skin or anything, but if you do get it on your hands, it could be a real bitch to get off if it stays on there for, let's say, more than 10 minutes. If you have trouble opening your ABS cement, I'm going to show you the best trick ever for opening it right now. Go ahead into your workshop and get yourself a wrench. A one with a real good grip on it. You'll be able to grip the top really well. You should be able to twist it off easily. And very loosely. You want to get glue everywhere. You want way too much glue. We're going to start with our reducer to our barrel. What you do, just make sure your brush tip gets all full of glue and start applying it on the parts. So right now we're doing the inside of this reducer. You want it to be just ridiculously covered with glue in there. And you want to get even more glue or cement, whatever you like to call it and apply it where it's going on the pipe. Again, just apply a lot, very loosely, a lot of glue. If you ever question if you have enough glue on there, you probably don't have enough. Put more. Once you're sure you have too much glue on there, you can fit your pieces together. Now what you want to do is twist as you're putting it on and pushing. This will make sure the glue spreads out evenly all through it. When you can't push down anymore, you know you're flush and you've reached the bottom. Now just doing that, a quarter twist is enough to spread the glue all on the inside here to make sure that it's spread out evenly. I do our male coupler to our threaded adapter. Again, get a lot of glue on the inside of your part. Get a lot of glue on the outside of your pipe. Again, 
push and twist. Make sure the glue spreads out even. Then right away you can move on to your next part. Lots of glue. In your pipe. And lots of glue inside your adapter. Cosmetic drips on the outside aren't always the nicest, but performance will always be cosmetics. Again, push and a quarter twist. I'll come close to butting up. Now this is a little trick that Potato Gun Professionals came up with. If you want to make sure that everything is on there properly, and everything is butting up properly, Take a piece of newspaper, put it on your floor. Notice we're not doing this in the Potato Gun Professional Workshop. I'm just doing this in my kitchen so I can show you that anybody can do this. This is not something that you need a big workshop for. Anybody can do this on their kitchen counter. Put it on the floor and put all your weight on it. That makes sure that everything is butted up correctly. The glue, as it before its drying process, it will lubrify it so you can have, well, access to pushing it down like that. After awaiting the appropriate wait time for your glue, which is oftentimes 24 hours, you're ready to test fire it. Perfect ammo for a three inch barrel is a soup can. Empty or full. I should also mention it's seven o'clock in the morning and our neighbors upstairs are very light sleepers. Now, if you're wondering what the fuck happened to my eye, there's a link in the description of the chemical that I accidentally splashed in it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video.